I have everything maxed out settings, I'm gonna see what it does. Fallout 4 update brings the terror the level 50% off of it. Oh, that's talking about the game. Did he bring her toast? Yeah. You know, I haven't ate toast in a long time, dude. Toast and butter. Toast and butter is pretty good. Well, that too, but I mean, it tastes good with butter too. What the hell? I killed somebody with a stun grenade. He was probably already weak. Fall out four. Just that good. All right. War. War never changes. I don't mean to call that in. In the year 1945, anyway. my great great grandfather, serving in the army, his name was Harvey. He had to go home to his wife. He worked at Donata. And the son he'd never seen. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Damn it. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. Mm-hmm. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alright, I'm gonna skip all this facial building crap on his face, because... It's gonna take up too much time. Yeah, they don't have a Mexican option either. They don't know what. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning, sir. Thanks, Codsworth. Good morning, Codlin. Drink coffee. Even though somehow he's drinking the coffee, but the cup didn't move from the counter. Okay. What up, little bee? We're gonna name you John. You're bald and you're little. I'm out of ammo on my gun. I gotta get another one. Cosmo, get the fuck out of the way. I swear that robot's annoying. 
Hun. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? How is she talking to him and she's staring at the newspaper at the same time? She's so stuck up. That's a badass song we're playing. That's one of the ink spots. I think it was the ink spots, I don't know. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, I drink my coffee already. Why is it telling me to enjoy it? And now look at sports. Something that is unquestionably went 35 and 9. That's good. Come on, just when he's at the door. Go away. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm. Precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of. <clears throat> Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. It's asking for my name. My name is John Simmons. I really, did you, how many, what did you put your points into? Because, I mean, I just spread them out, I guess. I just kind of spread mine out, too. But I yeah. put my, I put most of mine on, on endurance. But you don't have to do that. I mean, I've seen people build on their, like, intelligence. Because that's what you're going to need whenever it comes to, like, building shit. Intelligence is my second highest. I just basically did what I was like in real life. And so my intelligence is actually, you know, it, 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 this game doesn't have my level. <laughs> it goes over a hundred. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks again. But my endurance hey, isn't that great. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, everything no else, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> Good. Huh? meet my level. I have my moments. So. He called me by my name, Mr. Roger. The fuck? <laughs> Cosmo, I'm gonna have to murder you now because you hacked into my computer. Mr. Roger's neighborhood. I figured out my name, so I'm gonna have to dismantle your whole parts, everything. I'm making my virtual reality baby cry. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. <laughs> he loves that.
You'd like that, don't you? Even though you're adopted. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Mm. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Let's go see what this goddamn robot wants. To be honest with you, dude, it, this, the PC version looks way better than console. I'm way better than console. Hey, Codsworth. But only by a little bit. We do have coming in. That's um You've been Thunderstruck. Oh bitch, that's good. Pennsylvania. My god. Fucking body just flew. Oh my god. We we need to get to the ball. Oh bitch. Let's go. Oh shit! It's kind of fucked up that you couldn't you couldn't name your own baby. Yeah, because I wanted to name mine Free Hunter Swole G. <laughs> I was gonna name mine Triple O G. What did you say, Triple O G? Three Hunter Swole O G. Three Hunter Swole G. Oh shit! It's <laughs> gonna name mine Steven. The Steven, the smoker. Have a blunt in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Baby, have a blunt in his mouth. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't shut me. Oh, 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 oh,
It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir. Your mother and father down in DC. Oh, honey. <sighs> How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Hey there. Just this way. Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just follow me. Follow you where, Nikki? You ain't even pointing. Where the hell you want me to go? Excuse me. Step into the chamber. Oh, step into him. My bad. Honey. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. I think I would freak out if I was to get in a tank like that in real life. I don't like I being I, I don't like being like in closed spaces like that. What is it called? Condom close of it? Yeah, whatever she said. Cotton candy phobic. Claustrophobic? Yeah. I can't believe I did this. That's so embarrassing. What's the video about? <laughs> Nothing. You're not. No, you're not finding out. No one's finding out. <laughs> oh my god. I I swear I thought this game gave you a choice to play as a wife <laughs> of, a, of a husband. What the hell is that? Wait, the game gave you a chance to play what? I thought you could play as the wife of the. The husband, because I don't know. Maybe it was at the beginning when you chose your your character's like gender or whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess that's where I was supposed to be doing that. Start out of time. Exit the vault. One eleven. I gotta check on her first. Make sure she's come on. Completely dead. Release. Look, yeah, she's dead. She's like, come wait, on, I'm still alive. You like on. knock her in the head oh, like she's dead. That's fucked it too, they all shot her in front of me. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. Wait, so what happened to everybody else? Did they everyone like in the other chambers, did everyone else die? Um No, they're still frozen. Uh -oh. Let me see if I can uh... Well no, because I think there's a timer uh like a timer limit. Mm-hmm. So they're That's still possible. Yeah, they're still asleep pretty much. Fucking cockroach on the window. Holy shit. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe a fucking uh cringe fest twenty eighteen.
What, what was it to? What, what was it to? What? <laughs> oh, no, because. <laughs> Never, nothing, nothing. nothing. You weren't talking to me, probably. Oh, bitch! Do you remember how to check your inventory, or how do you get into your inventory? Tab. Sure. You already picked up the pit boy, right? Yeah, that's... I don't know how to do that. Why don't you have the pit boy yet, because I'm still at the beginning, I guess. Oh. But I'm picking up different guns. Nice. Coming back later for you. Gotta find the terminal. Alright, gotta find the what? Terminal should open this. I need a what? Terminal's gotta be somewhere. The terminal. Oh, the terminal? Yeah, what the fuck is that? It should be right next to where you picked up the pit boy. It's like a little uh, thing you gotta push in. I didn't pick up no pit boy. Oh. It's right next. Wait, no, the terminal is the computer that's on the desk. Oh. We got eyes in the sky. I actually might buy this game. It seems like they it kind of got improved after a while. I am. Once I get my next paycheck, I'm copping a feel. And I got to play the game. Thirty to eight with the STG. Not bad. Vault door 
Choosing both. Getting about 72 frames, 61. It's good. Uh, as long as it's over 30, I don't give a shit. Would you do a video on Fallout? I mean, what would you even do if you did one? Well, of course, I'm I'm doing one right now. I'm recording the gameplay. Oh. But yeah. I played this game on PS4, but I didn't. I I think I bought it and then sold it to a friend of mine because he wanted it. So I never mm. got back into it. But I did get like someone in the beginning of it or someone kind of. kidnapped but I'm going to find him I'm going to get my son back it's worse than I thought hmm? you're suffering from hunger induced paranoia not eating properly for 200 years will do that I'm afraid 200 years what are you a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can 
whip you up a snack? Uh, you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came, and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... Dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a surprise. But then oh, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be <laughs> Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <laughs>